Hi folks, Paragon Rocky here. Uh, a little off a beaten path today. This is my first Flash game for a stream in the channel. Uh, it came recommended by, of all things, TV Tropes. And I took, took a look at some of the soundtrack for this game and it blew me away. So I wanted to go in sight unseen. And uh, this is No One Has to Die. I've, I've, I've had it described as a um, puzzle game with a very interesting plot. And this is for free. You can play it yourself on Congregate and Newgrounds. And I've managed to tweak the uh, the display up here so it's all just the game, but it's actually like windowed mode. So yeah, let's just dive into it. Um, some sort of blanching, um, blanching, branching tree. And let's give it a try. Urgent. The Phoenix Corporation headquarters security has been compromised. All personnel evacuate immediately. Tempest engaged. Security room locked. Emergency services contacted. ETA 3 hours 17 minutes. What emergency service takes 3 hours to show up? Jesus. Visitor has logged on to the Phoenix Corporation communications network. Visitor says, hello, is anyone there? Visitor says, what the hell is going on here? Christina has logged on to the Phoenix Corporation Communications Network. Christina says, There's a fire! Everyone evacuate the building! Steve has logged on to the Phoenix Corporation Communications Network. Steve says, Oh, it's you, Chris. This is pretty bad. I can smell the smoke from here. Steve? Why are you still here? I thought you'd gone home. I was working back late. Why do you care? Troy has logged on to the Phoenix Corporation Communications Network. Lionel has logged on to the Phoenix Corporation Communications Network. This is the CEO of Phoenix Corporation telling everyone in the facility to evacuate the building. Security staff reported immediately. The security staff are dead. I found them lying dead in the control room. Then I saw a warning on the screen about a fire, so I logged in. What happened to them? I killed them. And I lit the fire. Nice to meet you too, Troy. Jeez. Who the hell are you? Is this a joke? There's no time for this now. Visitor, if you're in the control room, then you'll have to coordinate us in escaping. You'll need one of the security codes. Security codes? The code is RFTS. What? Is this some kind of game to you? Security code confirmed. Security system online. Be beginning scan floor B3. It worked. Now you may have a very difficult choice coming up, I'm afraid. Calculations complete. Fire on floor B3. One casualty unavoidable. Candidates. Troy, Steve. What does that mean? Our visitor is going to have to choose between keeping me or Steve alive. I trust this won't be a hard decision. Kill that asshole. I'm not dying for him. My job here is done. I'm ready to die. The fire is growing. Visitor, you'll be led through how the system works. Hurry up. Urgent. Please enter your security system orders immediately. The test system has been locked until your decision is made. This is a weird security system. Okay, so here's how the game works. The faucet here is where water comes out of, and water puts out fire, but it also will drown people. This is, a, again, a really weird security system. The fire will move every turn, and it can't move through locked doors, but I can only lock one door per floor. When a person's standing next to a switch, you can flip it, and that will turn the water on or off. So, let's say I want to save Steve here, who's generally a nice guy, or Troy, who admitted to kill, trying to kill everybody. We lock this door. The fire cannot pass through here. But it will spread over and kill Christina unless, um... I forgot his name, but I guess we'll find out in a second. Moves over here, and turns on the water. So, next turn... The water is moving. The fire moves. If I turn off the water, the water will stop moving, but still be protecting this area, so the fire won't move, but it will go there. Troy's dead. The fire has been contained. Casualties, Troy. Whew, that was tense for a bit. Glad that's over. How can you talk like that when someone just died? He had this coming. He tried to kill us. 
Really? I'm pretty sure he just saved you. Not his best decision. Oh, ha ha. You guys are kind of dicks, aren't you? So you two know each other. <laughs> yep, me and Steve have had the misfortune of working together for the last few years. Tell me about it, Chris. Don't you wish you'd gotten to work in Troy's apartment instead? Shouldn't you be looking for a way out? Lino, that's his name. We're not all old like you. We can walk and type, thank you very much. The main hallway is completely destroyed by fire. I can't get through. I'm having the same problem. I found a staircase up to the next floor, though. Oh, same here. There's one here, too. Shall we head up? Sure, why not? Okay, I'm heading up now. Beginning to scan floor B2. Our visitor is being very quiet. What's your story? Me? I don't work here. I'm just making a delivery. A delivery? Let me guess. Tires? Pop-up books? No, stationery. Those are some very strange guesses, though. What exactly do you do here? Okay, I have to ask. Wouldn't I have been delivering, like, I don't know, pizza, maybe? That would probably be a little more like Chinese food, some sort of food service. Who who gets stationery ordered? I guess maybe, like, like some sort of, like, supply delivery, like UPS, FedEx, Pureway, or something like that, but... Still, it's kind of an odd thing to be delivering. You know, that's a great question. What do we do here, Lionel? I know you got that message, Lionel. Forget that. I wasn't expecting an answer anyway. To be honest, no one really knows what the Phoenix Corporation actually does. The company buys random items, toilet seats, guitars, you name it, in bulk, and then sells it all off for no, next to no profit. We're almost certain it's a front. But it pays well, so we stay here. Well, Christina works here because no one else wants her, but that's different. How about you shut up while I ask Lionel a serious question? I want to know about the cockatiels. Cockatiels? Oh, the cockatiel story. For nearly a year, we'd be constantly getting in shipments of live cockatiels by the thousands. God only knows how many birds they bought. But the cockatiels were never seen again. No one knows what was done with them. It's an animal rights issue. That is weird. What was going on, Lionel? We were buying cockatiels looking for a phoenix. I don't get it. You don't have to get it. I didn't even answer the question. Has anyone found anything interesting on the second floor? Nope. Nothing much here. Most of this building is reserved for storage. Shouldn't you guys all know your way around this building? Our access to the rooms here is very limited. That would be on your request, wouldn't it, Lionel? Should be told I really visit myself. I know what facility this building contains, but I know very little about its layout. That's right. It was been on the notices for weeks that you were coming today. Was today something special? I was just dealing with some financial business. Nothing that could have encouraged arson. Calculations complete. Fire on floor B2. One casualty unavoidable. God damn it. Lionel and Steve are the candidates. God damn it, not again. Either Lionel or Steve is going to die. As the CEO of this corporation, I must request that you save me. Don't you dare. Please save Steve. I don't know why this fire was there, but you can be sure Lionel's responsible in some way. For Steve's done nothing wrong. It's great to hear you sticking up for me for once, Chris, but our visitors already saved me once. It's their choice what they do this time around. Visitor, my life is in your hands. Make the right decision. Save me. You will be well compensated. This isn't about money, you asshole. Shut up, both of you. It's getting hot in here. This is up to our visitor. Urgent. Please enter your security system orders immediately. The chest system has been locked until your decision is made. So with the tutorial out of the way, now we have to make our choices here. We can definitely save Christina, that's not an option otherwise. And then turn on the water. Now the problem is, if we keep running the water, it'll get to Lionel before it gets to uh, Steve. And I can't just stop it here because that'll, that'll kill Chris, but save Lionel. And it's, it's just faster if I save Lionel, unfortunately. I'm to get people out of the building quickly, that's, that's my logic here. So unfortunately, Steve's about to go. Oh boy. I'm not looking to hear that. The fire bit contained casualties, Steve. You've made the right decision. I'll make sure you won't regret it. I'm sorry, Christina. I can only save one of them. Christina? Okay, that's alright. I wasn't expecting you to talk to me after what I've done. She's a bit pissed, I can tell. How are we gonna get out of here with one of us not playing along? I'm sure she's still trying to get out of here. She just has a lot to deal with at the moment. Well, either way, I found the stairs. Beginning scan. Floor B1. Christina, just so you know, I understand this must be awful for you. I really am sorry. 
It'll be to the web, uh, you did the right thing. Calculations complete. Fire on floor B1, two casualties unavoidable. Candidates Christina, Lionel. Two casualties unavoidable. That means we're both going to die. It's over, we've reached our ends. Now you can't both die. There's no other option, I'm afraid this is it. Good. I'd rather die than live in a world with people like you two. Christina, Lionel, I'm sorry I let you guys down. It's alright, there's nothing you could have done. You could have saved Steve instead of you. That's not time to squabble. Goodbye, both of you. Just because you're about to die doesn't mean you're a saint. I hope you both burn in hell. Christina, don't do it. Don't waste your final moments like this. Give me one reason why I shouldn't. Please enter your orders immediately. The testing has been locked. Unfortunately, there is no possible way out of this puzzle because neither one of them can get to a switch to turn on the water. So you have to let it happen. There goes Lionel. There goes Christina. And this is a bad end, because no one gets out of the building. The mystery is not yet solved. You must explore all possibilities to find the truth. So here's when we get back to the um, timeline, uh, like branching tree thing. These are the ones where somebody lives. Uh, these are the ones where nobody lives. I had, did quickly run through this just to see how the game works, but now we're gonna go back to this part and try to save um, Steve and Christina, because they're the only ones who are allowed to get out of this. So, back to the original uh, puzzle. We're going to run the water long enough to drown Lionel, and just long enough to save Steve. Turn the water off, and we're done. Fire the contained. Casualties, Lionel. Good. Damn, Christina, you ice cold. Now he's being insensitive. I was the head of our company, Chris. And you chose him over... Sorry, you chose me over him, visitor? Don't ask me to explain my choices. It makes me sick thinking about what I just had to do. I talk too fast. I'm sorry, guys. How do you think I feel? I didn't get a choice. What if I wanted to die to save Lionel? As if you would ever sacrifice yourself for anyone. And you would? No, at least I'm upfront about it. Well, I found a set of stairs. I'm gonna head on up. I'm already on the next floor. I just didn't bother saying anything about it. That's a great story. Beginning scam, floor B1. Think we get paid overtime for this crap? I don't know. Barely matters, though. Time and a half of what we make is still next to nothing. Preach, sister. Maybe Troy set the fire because he was angry about all the wage cuts recently. God, do you have any clue? Wait until we get out of here before we start making jokes about the deceased. You were literally shit-talking the both of them the second they died, Christina. You don't get to talk shit. Hey, I could be right for all you know. The guy was whack. It wouldn't take much to set him off. No, just stop. I mean it. Now, speaking of the deceased, I've been so wrapped up in working with you guys, I almost forgot I'm in a room with two dead bodies. Oh, I'd forgotten too. That's awful. What can you find out about them? I guess I should search them. I really don't want to, though. Good luck, you must have a stronger stomach than me. I'll go look now. Back, I found a blue file in the hand of one of them. Excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> really? What does it say? It's a security code, the one that Troy gave us. Wait, really? Why are you surprised, Chris? It would explain how Troy could tell us the code. Why would he, why would he give us the code anyway? What does he get out of it? I don't, I don't get it either. Why shoot two people, set a building on fire, and then try to play the hero? It makes no sense to me. Why don't we ask him? Oh, whoops. No, it's not funny. Hey, simple mistake. Chris? Chris? You sure managed to get yourself ignored a lot. I wasn't that fussed on talking to her anyway. You too. Calculation's complete. Let's see how bad this is going to go now. Fire on floor B1. One casualty unavoidable. No. Chris and Steve. No, no! Chris. I thought I was going to make it. There's only one more floor to ground level. You're getting out of here, Chris. There's no way I'm letting you die. Don't you dare. Don't you even think about it. You're not sacrificing yourself for me. Chris, you know I don't mean any of the shit I say, right? Of course I do. I'm not an idiot. You don't need to die to prove that. Good. Then I'm ready. Steve. No. You don't deserve to die. No one deserves to die, Chris, especially not you. 
You're not gonna join me now, are you? I just don't know what to say. How about goodbye? Whatever happens, this is the last time we'll, we'll ever talk to each other. This isn't how I wanted things to go. Do you think I want to die? You don't understand. I'm sorry, you two. If I don't do something now, you'll both die. It's alright. I'm ready now. It'll be like a barbecue. Oh, dude, that's not the right thing to say here. <laughs> Shut up. You're not gonna die. Is he, visitor? Our visitor knows what they're doing. They'll save you. Visitor, promise me you'll save him. Promise me. Please enter your security orders immediately. Chesson has been locked until your decision is made. Okay, so... Lionel was over here and could not be saved. We have a choice here. We can move Steve in here and lock the door, or have him run for the switch to save Christina. And this just goes faster, so I'm just gonna go ahead and lock this door and let shit go. Christina dead, Steve lives. Fire has been contained, casualties, Christina. I'm so sorry. I don't want to hear it. If you were sorry, you would have listened to me. I had to make a decision. I don't expect you to be happy with what I've done. Just shut up. This is all a trick. This is a nightmare. You're still there, aren't you? Chris? If you're there, send me a message. You're just ignoring me again, right? Steve, I need you to really hear me here. Christina burned to death like 30 seconds ago. <laughs> you really got a whole ass out of there. The hell's the point of that? Christina just died for you. If you don't get out of this, you'll have died for nothing. Sure, I'm gonna get out of here, and it'll turn out this has been some sick joke, and Chris is gonna be waiting for me outside alive. I mean, how do I even know it was Chris who was writing those messages, right? Okay, I'm ready. I'm heading up to ground level. I can't wait to see her again. So Steve lost his nut, is what we're getting here. Ground floor, just a little further. There's a desk here with one of those blue files you were talking about. It's another security code. Another one? What for? I guess with this you can control more fire doors at the time. Not a lot of use now. No, oh, that's true. Steve, are you still there? Steve? I knew it. I told you. Told me what? She's alive. Chris is alive. That's a hell of a magic trick. What was going on? No fire detected. That's, at least there's that. So there was a file next to one with the security code. When I saw it, I knew I had to read it. It was titled Phoenix Experiments. The one with the cockatiels? Just let me explain. So I didn't get a lot of it, but here's what I understood. So Phoenix Corp has an experiment plan where they were going to buy lots of cockatiels and teach them to say a phrase. But every time they had enough birds for the experiment, they just randomly decided to increase their sample size. All in all, they bought around 6 million cockatiels. They stopped buying them the day after something weird happened. One of the cockatiels they bought was already knew the phrase they were going to teach it. Hang on one second here, this is really loud. That's a little better. I think it's... Yeah, it didn't affect the game audio. Or at least the, uh, broadcast audio. Maybe whoever sold them knew what was going on just to mess with the experiment? Let me finish. So they tagged a special cockatiel that already knew the phrase and taught it the passcode to... Okay. They tagged a special cockatiel that already knew the phrase and it taught the phrase to all the other cockatiels. The experiment didn't end there. They ran each and every one of the cockatiels with some kind of machine. It was worse than Chris had thought. They all died. All of them except one. The bird they marked, the one that knew the phrase, was fine. What kind of machine works like that? I have no idea. The paper talks very little about the machine itself and what it does say I don't understand. Bizarre. But... How does it tell you Christine is alive? I'm sorry, I'm all over the place right now. So here's the thing. The phrase the birds were taught? It was Christina lives. Steve, are you sure you're feeling alright? I mean it. That's what it says. You can see it for yourself when I show Chris. Even if it's true, we have no idea what that phrase means. What do you mean? Christina lives. It means she's alive. But we don't understand anything about the experiment. It couldn't mean anything. Steve? Come on, you need to keep in contact. No time. I gotta find the way out so I can find Chris. See you soon. No, keep talking. Steve, come on. Steve, can I get the signal, signal lost? Steve, what the hell have you done? I'm coming to find you. Is it connected? That's the Steve end, where Steve makes it out alive. But we still have to get through all the other possibilities. Now, there is the ending where Christina makes it out. So we'll give that one a try now. 
Skipping past this dialogue we've already seen. Now, Steve has to go for the switch in order to save Christina. He hits the switch. The water comes up. Unfortunately, I mean, he still has to turn the water off, otherwise it kills them both. But, no getting out of that one. He was dead. Fire has been contained. Casualty, Steve. No. I'm so sorry. It's not fair. Why would you save me? I had to listen to one of you. You don't understand. He never hurt anyone. Neither did you. Yes, I did. Troy and Lionel and Steve, they all died because of me. The security guards, too. Visitor, this is all my fault. I lit the fire. No, you didn't. Troy did. No, he didn't. I don't even know what his deal is. Was. I lit the fire, and then I killed the guards before they could do anything about it. From the start, it was all me. Christina, you know it wasn't really you. It was Troy. If it was Troy. Why was he trying to save us all? I don't know. No one does. This isn't how it's meant to go. Steve wasn't meant to be here. The building was meant to be nearly empty. Let's say you did it. What was your motive? I wanted to stop whatever was going on in this building forever, and I wanted to kill Lionel before he ruined anyone else's life, too. What did Lionel do? Him and his company, they killed my mother. Huh. Let's hear more about this, shall we? What? My mother used to work at this company. She had the same name as me. She never told me much about what they did here. She just said experiments. Well, one day she went to work and never came back. We ordered the fish, but no one could find her. It was a week before we got the call from the Phoenix Corporation. They told us they were so sorry that Mum had died in an experiment. Sorry, my ass. They wouldn't tell us what happened, and then when they sent back her body... They sent back her body with her brain cut out. They cut out her brain so they could experiment on it. They killed my mother so they could look at her brain. I'm so sorry. I couldn't let them get away with doing anything like that ever again. I guess that's fair. So I started working here at the company. They knew who I was, but I think they gave me a job to shut me up. Since then, I spent God knows how long trying to find out what they did to my mother, but I haven't gotten anywhere. When I read the notices that Lionel was going to be visiting today, I knew I had to do something. But I thought I had worked out the timing perfectly. Steve wasn't meant to be working overtime. And now he's dead. I killed him. I killed all of them. I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. Nothing's going to help. I'll just keep moving through this building, and when I get out, I'll be arrested, and I'll finally get what I deserve. Okay. Alright, I'm on the ground floor now. Beginning scan, ground floor. To be honest, I still have no idea where I am. Most of the building is off limits normally. We take elevators down to our workspaces on floor B3. We never see the rest of the building. So that explains why they don't know their way around the building. So I have to keep guiding them. What a weird way to do things. It makes sense to remember they're trying to hide the skeletons in their closet. There's a blue file on the desk in here. It looks like the one you found, security guard. Another one? What's the point of that? It's a different, it has a different code on it. Maybe this would let you lock more fire doors at a time. If I'd had that earlier, I don't even want to think about this. I'm going to keep moving. No fire detected. Hold on a second. There's a big metal door I need to open. Alright. Okay, I'm through now. There's a sign here. It says Tempest Entrance. What's that? No clue. There's a door here that looks kind of strange. I'm going to go through. Sure, just tell me what you find. Chris, he connected. Reason signal. Okay, so she went through the door to the Tempest room, and now she's gone. We were so close by her drop out now. Christina. Christina, I'm coming to find you. And then I log out. Same thing happened to Steve. As soon as he got out, he went through a door and just disappeared. So, if Christina started the fire, Troy definitely didn't. So, saving Troy on our next pass is going to be the what, what, what we're going to want to do to figure out what the hell happened in there. So, yeah, we get the tutorial again. This time we're going to go ahead and save Troy. Have Lionel hit the water. And turn off the water. Goodbye, Steve. The fire had been contained. Casualty, Steve. Why? Why save me? Well, not exactly. Why did you leave Steve to die? I can only save one of them, and Troy needs a security code. He's the reason I can save anyone. We need to know what, what else he knows. Now we're thinking. Well, it's a lot of a bit of a pragmatist there. I like him. I'm not going to do anything to save anyone from here on in. Tell me now. How did you know the security code? 
But if they're check the bodies of the two security guards, this better not be a trick. Just do it. Fine. Well, that explains that. What did you find? One of the guards is holding a blue file with security code Troy told us before writing it. Before written. Sorry, let me try that again. One of the guards is holding a blue file with security code Troy had told us before written in it. They were? A blue file? This contains security codes. Each one allows you to lock into their fire door. I found the code when I killed them. I thought I'd give you a fighting chance, so I told you the code. You're welcome. Why did you do this? Instead of asking all these questions, why don't you look for a way out? The main room's completely blocked by rebel with why. There should be a staircase in the room near both of you. You're right, I'm heading up now. Fine, me too. So while we're here, Lionel, could you tell me what the hell it is that this company is set up to do? Don't waste your breath, he's not going to tell you anything. Whatever you'd like to explain, then. There's nothing to explain. That's a lie, and you know it. You both work here. Shouldn't you know what the company does? You'd think. The company mostly buys and sells things in bulk, but there's something dark going on underneath all that. Like what? Beginning scan, floor B2. Candidates, Christina, Troy. Huh? Don't worry just yet. Then why would you say anything? Christina, that's a nice name. It's your mother's, correct? How could you know that? Answer me. Tell me right now. God damn it. Calculation's complete. Fire on floor B2. Floor B2, one casualty unavoidable. Candidates, Christina, Troy. Fuck, I got goosebumps there. That's that's really good. How could you know that? How could you know the code? How could you know which one of us is gonna die? I, oh, sorry, one of us is gonna die. I told you, I lit the fire. I'm behind all of this. I know everything. No, that answer's not good enough. Can we do this later? There is no later. Tell me now. I'm not telling anyone anything. Let me die. Please enter security code orders immediately. Testing that the lock until your decision is made. So, uh, this is where Steve was and now isn't, so we don't have to worry about him anymore. Now, as far as I know, there's no way to save both of these two. We have to lock one of these doors and then run the water. So, I'm going to go ahead and... I'm gonna try to take Christina again if I can. Actually, I think I might have just fucked that up. Yeah, if you uh, if you screw up the puzzle and more than one person dies when they're not supposed to, the game will actually re restart the simulation of, what, of what, what, what's supposed to happen. Okay, so we can't lock that door. We have to lock one of these doors. Uh, just for just for a lark, I'm gonna go ahead and save uh, Christina. So. <coughs> Run the water. Oh, I killed Christina. Let's try that again, shall we? Lock that door. Hit the water. Troy's dead. Turn off the water. And the fire keeps on going. Fire being taken. Casualties, Troy. I guess he finally got what he wanted. Good, the man was a maniac. He's cost him company millions already. And he killed four people. It'll be six if you don't get out of there soon. Alright, alright, I found the stairs. Me too. Beginning scan, floor B1. I didn't mean to be so callous before, just that this will severely impact your operations. So do you think that might have been the point? What do you mean by that? Troy probably wanted to stop Phoenix from doing whatever mess up things you do here. Well, if that makes sense. No, impossible. Our business here is strictly confidential. Does that sound like a slip of the tongue to you, visitor? Calculation complete. Fire on floor B1, two casualties unavoidable. Christina and Lyle. So we've, we've, we've been here before, but now we're doing it from the perspective of um, Troy having lived to this point instead of Chris. No. Neither, neither of us is going to live. I'm afraid not. I guess that's Ferris, isn't it? What? Why are we deserve to live when Steve and Troy had to die? Because Troy was a murderer. <laughs> what about Steve? Well, either way, goodbye. Goodbye. 
So they're much they're much less antagonistic this time because I guess she's had time to get over Steve's death, even if it was like ten minutes in real time. Alright, so unfortunately there's no way to save them because they're in the same position that they were in previously. So let it happen. So here's another bad end. Let's explore how possibly find the truth. So there's like there's some sort of like Groundhog Day loop or something going on here because we're just going through the same events over and over again. But this time we me know to uh, to kill Christina, sadly, so... I saved Christina. God damn it. I'm really bad at this. Turn off the water. There we go. Lionel and Troy made it through. Not again. You don't sound too happy, you sound too happy for someone who's lucky to be alive. This is what you tell me. What would it take to get you to kill me? You can't ask someone something like that. You're mad. I've killed all these people. Of course I'm goddamn mad. Beginning scan for B1. You're going to have to choose between me or Lionel soon. Promise me you'll save Lionel. But how do you know that? It doesn't matter. All that matters is I'm a monster and I don't deserve to live. Of course it matters. I want to know too. Tell me why you did this. There's not enough time. Glad you won't believe me. You'll never believe me until it's too late. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Like was complete. One casualty unavoidable. Lionel and Troy. It doesn't matter. Just save Lionel. I must concur. Please spare me. Shut up. I want to know what's going on. If I give you answers, will you let me die? If you save me, I'll tell you things Troy doesn't know. I'll tell you what we really do here. Troy, tell me, then you can die. Okay, the other thing. The truth is, I've been here before. What is that supposed to mean? And the chapter from walks out. The second he's about to tell me something good. Okay. So, this is a unique uh, version of the puzzle. If we turn on the water, the sprinkler puts out the fire and Lionel lives, but Troy does not. And by the end, if he, um... If Troy locks this door, then Lionel dies. I want to hear from Troy this time. I want to know what the hell is going on. Unfortunately, that means even if we turn the water on, it puts out the fire, but we can't then turn... Can we turn it back? Oh yeah, because the fire is coming through the unlocked door. So... He drowned and then catches fire. <laughs> So, the water is going to go ahead and flood. What kind of sprinkler system floods an entire room? It's like Resident Evil all over again. Oh, I have to turn off the water. Sorry. <laughs> Just keeps going forever if you don't. Now it's Lionel. So this is how it goes, is it? I don't know how much longer I can do this. What are you talking about? What were you saying before the chat cut out? While we're at it, how do you know everything? And why did you light the fire? There's nothing I can do now. I might as well tell you what I know. Beginning scan, ground floor. First things first. The reason I lit the fire? I didn't. What? That makes no sense. I don't know who did it either. I don't know who killed the security guards. While we're at it, I have no idea what they do here at this company. You're full of crap. How did you know all that stuff then? How did you know the security code? No fire detected. Thank God. You're probably not going to believe this. No, I know you're not going to believe this. I knew the security code because I heard you read it out. You know that makes no sense. You told me before I ever read it. This time I did. This time? What the hell do you mean this time? I've been here before. I've been here five times before. The first time I was in my office doing my work when suddenly the fire alarm went off. I went on the chat to find out what was happening and Lionel explained you need a security code to save anyone. We all scrambled around looking for a blue file before you finally found one. That's when I found out what the code was. Then you had to make decisions. Steve died, Christina died, Lionel died, I was the only one left. I had to keep going, then I found a room called the Tempest Entrance. I went inside, there was a bright light, and suddenly, well you won't believe this bit, suddenly I was back before the fire, sitting in my office. What? I don't know how, but I traveled through time. I was so glad to hear you all alive, but none of you remember what had happened. You all thought I was insane. 
But just like this time, because I knew the code, you thought I could save everyone. So once again, Steve died, then Christina, then Lionel. I got back to the end, the Tempest entrance, and it happened again. And again. And again. Five times it's happened. That's a lot to take in. I'm not sure I believe you. Why would he be lying about this? And if he was going to lie, why would he choose this one? If that's true, why did you say you were the arsonist? Because I just want to die. Five times now, watch them all die just so I can live. And for what? I, so I can go back and watch them die again. I wanted you to think I was evil. Who would save a murderer over an innocent life? Me, apparently. I mean, me after like five tries, but, you know. None of my plans to save the others have worked. Not one. I'm just tired. So now what? I've checked everywhere. All the doors are locked just like last time. I have no choice. I have to go back to the start. Wait, you don't have to. The fire is contained now. If you just wait there, someone will come and find you. No, I can't let the loop end. I can't let the loop end until someone else survives. I've been through too much. I'm ready to die. Whoever makes it out of this building should want to live. But if you go back, what happens to me? What happens to this world once you go? I have no idea. Does it mean now that there are five worlds out there in space or time or wherever where you've just disappeared and everyone else is dead? When you put it like that, I guess you're right. But how is that possible? I guess it's as good as yours. I'm also at the Tempest Entrance now. This is it. I guess so. I'll see you again soon. Just... You won't see me. I still can't wrap my head around this at all. Goodbye. Goodbye. And Troy's gone. And I'm gone. That there is the Troy end. So, that's a whole lot of plot to dump on me at once. So, Christine was telling the truth. She started the fire and killed the security guards. Which makes sense, because she had mentioned that the guards were shot, which only she would know. I just said that they were dead, never said how they got shot. As for Troy, uh, he didn't light the fire. He has no idea that Christina did. But apparently, he's been through this a version of this five times now. And having taken the Tempest back to the original point, remembers that attempt. Now we still have to do the ending where Lionel lives, so let's do that now. We have to switch this, walk this on and lock that door. And then turn the water off. So, Troy burns, Lionel lives. Casualties, Troy. Excellent, you have made the right decision. Dude, fuck off already. <laughs> I'm not so sure there was a right decision. Now you made a promise. A deal's a deal, what do you wanna know? Beginning scan, ground floor. I want to know what Christina was talking about. What's going on in this company? Christina herself has no idea what we do here. She was right about one thing, though. Here at Finance Corporation, we buy and sell large stocks of cheap products to keep the company uh, look busy. It's a front. Our true answer here is time travel. It figures. Time travel. That is indeed what I said. And you expect me to believe that. I don't care what you believe. You ask for the truth, and here it is. Now, if you let me continue, we in fact have a fully functional time machine in this facility. But the machines have been constructed don't quite work like in the movies. Sorry, let me try that one more time. But the time machine we have constructed doesn't quite work like the ones you might see in the movies. As in, it does nothing because time travel isn't real? No, if you're not going to listen, I don't see why you bothered saving me. Our time travel doesn't affect physical objects. It doesn't sound very useful. What can it do? No fire detected. It can carry a person's consciousness through time. Consciousness. Their thoughts, their personality, likes and dislikes, experiences and memories. Our machine can carry those things through time. Can I believe a word of this? It's your own loss. Okay, so if I was to hop in this machine and go an hour into the future, what would actually happen? The consciousness would leave your body and effectively you would die. Die? At first. Then, after an hour, your consciousness would re-enter your body and you would come back to life not even realizing an hour had passed. That's impossible. We've done it successfully. People, birds, dogs, anything with a brain can travel in our machine. But what use is that sort of time travel? Your body would start to decompose if you went forward more than a few hours. That is true. We're still experimenting with methods of preserving the body that would allow the consciousness to later re-enter it. Currently, freezing seems promising. But this is not where our true interest lies. 
The person travels forward through time. They can visit distant eras and the like, but they can still only live for the 80 years their body dictates. I mean, 80, I'm guessing, is just like a placeholder figure because people live to different ages. What if one wants to travel backwards? I mean, back to when they were younger? Exactly. They would retain their memories and experiences gained over time, and they would have a younger body. Well, if they were in an accident and die instantly, they could live forever. Whoa. So basically, you're talking about mental immortality, where you can just keep getting new experiences over time and just restart your life from an um, ideal point. With our machine, no one has to die. That would be huge. But how does it work? We believe so. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, does it work? Yes, I believe so. Our test traveling forward have gone exactly to plan. However, in our test, things didn't work out quite so well going backwards. What happened? Our human test subject entered the machine, we activated it, her consciousness left her body, and unfortunately never came back. She died. Okay, so this is definitely Christina's mom, who was also named Christina. And this is the part where they have to cut open her brain. But, I'm thinking, if you sent her back in time, then you would never know, because she, would, she wouldn't be coming back to her original body, she went back in time. So, of course she's going to die, because she doesn't exist in this time period anymore. That's terrible. What went wrong? We have dedicated every resource we have available to attempt to cause the problem. We have worked it out. We think, we, think, we think the machine may have worked. How can you say it when someone died? If there could be calling you, I'll explain it to you. First though, you have to do something for me. I've entered the code to unlock access to the rooms on the ground floor. I'm in the Tempest room. Come meet me here. Why can't you tell me now? Well, the connected, a little off. Lionel, where'd you go? I have to go find you. So I go to the Tempest machine and talk to Lionel in this timeline. But again, like this seems fairly straightforward. Oh, the end is near. The final timeline has appeared. But again, like, if you send someone back in time using this method, then in this timeline, their body just dies because their brain is good, like, their consciousness has left the body and it's not coming back. Because if it were to go back to a point where it already existed, then it would basically never go back in the machine, and that event will never have occurred in that timeline. So, okay, so we got this new branch here completely separate from this one. Check it out. Urgent. The Phoenix Corporation headquarters security has been compromised. All personnel evacuate immediately. Tempest engaged. Security room locked. Emergency services contacted. ETA 3 hours 17 minutes. Again, how far away is this building that we have to wait 3 hours for a fire truck to get here? Visitor has logged on the Phoenix Corporation communications network. Lionel, what the hell is going on here? Okay, so I already know who Lionel is, which is different. I went into the temperature room like you told me to, and now I'm back here in the control room. Wait. Christina has logged on the Phoenix Communications Corporation. Sorry. Phoenix Corporation Communications Network. What? How did I end up here? Steve has logged on. Chris, you're alive. I knew you were alive. Steve, I thought you were dead. Me? Troy has logged on. You guys, you remember. You finally remember. Troy, this is all just part of some trick of yours, isn't it? Steve, keep up, man. You died. We all died. I mean, I never died because I'm awesome, but the rest of you died. No, I have no idea what's going on. Think I'm gonna believe that after you lit this fire? I didn't light the fire. You don't get to change your story now. Steve, he's telling the truth. What do you mean? Lionel is logged on. Amazing. I knew this would happen sometime, somewhere, but I never thought I'd be the one to witness it. Do you know what's going on here? Yes, but for now, there are more pressing there. Does anyone here have one of the security codes? I already told you mine last time, RFTS. Did anyone find any new ones? I found a blue one which said IRHH in it. I found one that says SOEE. -E. Perfect visitor, I confess that just before the count last time, I found a file containing the code EMAS. Now enter all the codes. Alright, alright. Security code confirmed, security scan online, beginning scan for B3. Four codes received, full access granted. Full access? 
You can now lock four fire doors at a time instead of just one. Lionel, tell us what the hell is going on here already. Why is everyone alive again? There's no way I have enough time for that now. Calculations complete. Fire on floor B3. No casualties expected. Fuck yeah! No casualties expected. No one has to die. Am I getting that in shot? I should be... I should feel straight on with this. Yeah, there we go. Now we have security codes. We're all safe. Let's get out of here then. Okay, so I gotta make a decision. But this time I can lock every door. So I hit this button. The water goes. Turn it off. And everyone lives. The fire has been contained. Fantastic. We're all still alive. Great, but you still owe us all an explanation. How is everyone alive again? How did I end up back where I was when the fire started? And why aren't these rooms fire damaged anymore? Beginning scan on floor B2. Visitor, do you remember what I told you before? Yeah, you invented the time machine. Impossible. Well, a bit different to a time machine. It carries your thoughts and memories through time instead of your body. Correct so far. It works going forwards, but going backwards. Tycho is complete. Going backwards, you killed someone. They never returned to their body. Fire on floor B2, no casualties expected. That is the story as I told it. The person you murdered was my mother, asshole. What? Mother died of a brain tumor? You told me so. That was a lie. Yeah, Christina lies, Steve. Get over it. Lionel killed my mother to test some impossible time travel bullshit. So I lit the fire. I lit it to kill Lionel and Records Corporation before they ruined any more lives. Chris, I don't believe it. I expected as much. Christina, your mother is not dead. What do you mean by that? I've seen her body. You took her brain. Oh, uh, look. So th that's probably what the, um, the, uh, cockatiels were talking about. One of them said Christina lives. And they weren't talking about this one, but her mother, whose name was also Christina. I gotta wonder what the hell her parents were thinking. Christina Jr.? What the hell is the point of that? So if we lock every door, we don't even have to worry about the water, because they'll just get trapped in this, in this hallway here. Everyone lives. Lionel. Answers. Your mother is not dead. This is going to be hard to explain. We sent your mother back in time. She never returned to her body. However, there was not a single fault in our logic. The machine was designed perfectly. The machine was in the Tempest room, right? Correct. Anyway, we conducted many experiments and eventually came to one fascinating conclusion. When our subject could travel forwards in time, the future was not set, and so time would bend to accommodate our time traveler. That is, the consciousness traveling through time would remain in its own timeline. But when traveling backwards, things are not so simple. Beginning of Sam would be one. The consciousness would become lost in the mess that is time space. It would find a host, one which owned the consciousness, and one which existed at the time it had been sent back to. But it would not always find its host in its own universe. You've lost me. Our research would suggest that there are a nearly infinite amount of universes, each one nearly identical, with only minute differences between them. So when Christina's mother traveled backwards through time, she was not alone. Trillions of her, maybe even more, traveled too. They would land randomly in different timelines. Some would land in the same timeline, and one would, and one would override the other. In some timelines, no one would even know if Christina had even left, or she had like hundreds of... Ah, uh, sorry. Too fast. Too excited. In some timelines, no one would ever know that Christina's mother had even left, or that the consciousness that returned to her body wasn't from their universe. A few rare consciousnesses would land back where they began in their own universe. Many timelines were left like here, in this universe, where Christina's mother consciousness left this world, and no other consciousness returned to her body. Because of this, the body remained empty, and Christina's mother was effectively dead. But her consciousness lives on in another time, another universe. I'm not buying a word of this. Tycho's is complete. Fire on floor B1, no casualties. But it explains everything. This is why everything kept happening over and over again. This is why we're all here. Yes, it took me a while to figure it out, but we have all been brought here by the Tempest Machine. Visitor, you remember a time in which I let everyone die apart from myself, correct? Yeah, then you gave me access to the Tempest Room. Each of these people remembers a different reality, one where they were the only survivor of the fire. That's right. I had to wait and do nothing while Chris died. I had to wait nothing as all of you died time and time again. At the end of each of these realities, the survivor entered the Tempest Machine, which had clocks at the beginning of the disaster as a security measure. When each of us entered the machine, we were randomly shot into another universe. 
some of us would remember the fact where we started, and no one else would remember where it just taken place. But there would be a few universes like this one, where by chance all of us came from five different universes into one. And that's how we are all here together now with memories of different futures. Whoa. The chance of that happening would be practically zero. With as many universes as there are, it was incredibly likely. There are probably hundreds of universes in which the same thing has happened as is happening here. Nothing about this seems incredibly likely. But it is the truth. Okay, uh, entry decision. So here's the final puzzle. Alright, so we locked that door. Okay. We have you move up and lock that door. And then we lock these doors. And... Sorry, here's how you go in a moment. Why can't, why, why can't I lock this door? I can only lock four doors. That's what's happening. Okay, so I set the water now. And then I turn the water off to not kill Christina. Nope, I killed them both. Yeah. This is the last puzzle I have to do, so I really want, don't want to fuck this up. I can lock four doors. Lock that one. Lock this one. Have you turn on the water. And then turn off the water. There we go. I solved the puzzle! Okay, all of our paths meet up here, right? They do? I suppose they must. Beginning scan, ground floor. Soon we'll all be able to talk in person. No fire detected. I can't wait to see you again, Chris. I'm so glad you're safe. I can't either, Steve. I can't believe you're alive. You're both alive. Well, hurry up then. I'm already here. Okay, coming through now. I can see you. I'm in. Me too. Has anyone locked the door for me so I can come down too? <laughs> Hello? Anyone? So I'm still locked in the control room, but everybody else gets to walk around like, no problem. Stop talking to a person for a second. Look at your messages, goddammit. Now what do I do? Visitor? Christina, can you ask Lionel to open the door for me? No, sorry, I don't think I'll have a chance to. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Is something wrong? Where are you? I stepped out for a moment. I'm at the Tempest entrance. I haven't been entirely upfront with all of you. What do you mean? I've been here before. Oh, fuck off. What do I think, Lionel? We've all been here before. No, I've been here before. To a timeline just like this one where we all managed to survive. They could think me a little bit differently that time. For instance, I asked Lionel where the controls of the Tempest machine were, and he told me that they were on floor B2 in my section of the basement. Later, he explained the machine can't, can't send content back to time bef to, before the time it was turned on, which is when my mother was sent back to time. So I thought I'd get things in there, trying to hop back in the Tempest machine. Don't tell me. This time, when we were on floor B2, I sent the time machine back as far as it could go, so no one lost my mother. I'm going back. I'm going back three years to find my mother. This is crazy. Where have you sent up another universe when she disappeared? Now I'll break into here. I'll travel again. What about the people who care about you in this universe? What about Steve? You should know better than anyone else what this feels like. You've had to choose one person's happiness over another time and time again. At the time when you came from, you even chose to kill me. I wish I could just have Steve and my mother both at once, but I don't have that choice. I spent too long wishing she was with me to turn back now. Besides, in this world, I'm a murderer and an arsonist. There's no place for me here. She's got a point. I mean, to be fair, she is also talking about going back to another universe to burn more people, so I kind of feel like I should try to stop this if I can, but I guess I don't really have a choice in the matter. You're not going to stop me, are you? I would really like to, Christina, yes. Dude! No, yes, I want to stop her. Don't agree to this. Tell Steve I'm sorry and I love him. Tell him to hope we meet again somewhere sometime. But for now, goodbye. Good, good luck. She's gonna go burn so many more people. She's already killed four people five times, at least. Christina disconnected, signal lost, visitor disconnected. And that's the final end of the game.
and I'm gonna go ahead and quickly um, show this off. I've just won the Groundhog Day Dilemma badge. Just trying to line this up a bit. So, that was No One Has to Die. It really isn't worth playing now that you've watched me do the whole thing, but it's honestly a really interesting concept for a Flash game. Even if the puzzles are a little bit simplistic, that really isn't the focus of the game, it's more about the story. And there are some legitimately good plot stingers there every time you get to a different ending. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it, because I sure did, and thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.